Hello my dear friends, I welcome you all to our channel and uh, as you all know that we have completed with proverbs so we are moving towards grammar and writing section. Alright, so I have already uploaded determiners where you will find use of a and the and some possessive determiners, okay, indefinite adjectives, everything is explained very properly in that video. Please go through that and in my video present one here we are going to learn article writing all right so let's begin with the topic hello my dear students today we are going to learn article writing let's understand what is an article an article is a piece of writing about a particular subject in a newspaper or magazine it is an expression of one's thought on an issue or a subject logically and coherently written in meaningful paragraphs it should have some connection to the audience then only it will be interesting so whichever topic you will get you will try to relate it to the audience let's talk about the format of an article at first we have to write heading then we will write byline and then the content let's Talk about all these three individually. Heading. The heading should be written in block letters and it should be apt and suggestive. It should be related to the paragraphs that you are going to write. It should be related to the content. If there is mismatch, then the examiner will not give you marks in title which is one mark okay so keep in mind the heading should be related to your content let's move towards the second topic that is byline here in byline you have to write your name and uh, keep in mind that we write article for school magazine and for newspaper as well so when you are writing an article for school magazine you have to mention your name, class, and section. Okay? These three things are required. Name, class, and section if you are writing for school magazine. Okay? School magazine. If it is, but if it is for newspaper, you just have to mention your name. Okay? Like this. I hope it's clear to you now. Let's move towards the content. Content is divided into three to four paragraphs. In the first paragraph, you are going to mention the topic. You are going to introduce the topic. Okay, what is it? All right, if it is about child labor, say for example, you have to mention or what is child labor? You should mention that. Next comes information about it. All the pros and cons, all the Governments, rules and regulations, uh, international court guidelines, etc. Okay, all those things you are going to mention here. At last, you are going to conclude the paragraph. Okay, in the conclusion, you must. Paragraph. In concluding paragraph, you should mention solution to the problems that you have mentioned in second or third paragraph. Okay, and keep in mind that ideally there should be three paragraphs: intro, information regarding the topic, and conclusion. But if you wish, you can segregate this part into different paragraphs, okay? If you wish, you can take one, two, three paragraphs as well. But keep in mind the word limit as well, okay? So finally, you are going to conclude the topic which you have, the problem that you have mentioned in information section or second paragraph. You are going to conclude or you are going to find the solution in the third paragraph according to, in last paragraph according to your intellect what should be the solution to the problem okay don't forget to thank audience at last okay students here is the format of an article at first you have to write heading or the title the title or the heading should be very catchy very attractive it should be thought provoking it should highlight the issue very properly next you are going to write byline okay writer's name then comes content section. Let's see what all things you have to mention in the content section. 
they should be intro paragraph then informative paragraph and concluding paragraph as i have already told you if you wish you can have more paragraphs in the second section that is information you can include two three more paragraphs according to your requirement keeping in mind the word limit here is an example of article writing see student at first you have to write heading in this way then you will write byline okay if it is for your class then you will just put comma and then you will mention your class okay and then section all right it could be commerce arts any any section okay now you'll start with first paragraph here then you have to leave a line okay whenever you change paragraph you cannot just leave small space out here that is totally wrong you have to leave entire line and then you will start with another paragraph okay and uh, keep in mind that whenever you start writing you should write right from the margin okay out here you can see that i have not given any gap out here okay in the same manner you have to write there should be straight line out here okay and whenever you change paragraph you have to leave entire line keep these things in mind so here you will find intro paragraph informative paragraph and concluding paragraph this is to be written within 120 to 150 words okay and here you can change more paragraphs according to your requirement keeping in mind the word limit so these are the things for article writing let me show you another example as well here students there is, this is an example another example for article writing title i have written byline is given first paragraph is here second paragraph in informative paragraph i have included all these lines okay let's move to the next here i require here i required another paragraph as well therefore i have included this paragraph out here okay students in the concluding line you should write solution to the problem or your viewpoint okay you are free to choose any one out of these two by this you conclude your article writing and i hope these two examples are going to be of help to all of you we will wind up our class here we will meet in our next video till then if you have any queries you can drop a message anytime thank you